All right, uh, this is continuing with the question on the on thing cycle. So make this a little bit bigger. Whoops, a bit too big. I think it might go down to about 90%. Um, so this is uh, the on thing cycle. And we just looked at, if you caught the previous video, and the formation of um, uh, deamination formation of urea. So this says the urea formed um, in the ornithine cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to underline the key words here. Um, the urea formed in the ornithine cycle will be excreted from the body in urine. Urine also contains other chemicals. Procedures have been developed to test for the presence of some of these chemicals such as hormones. A Prensley testing kit contains a testing stick to detect a hormone in the urine. Explain how the stick detects this pregnancy hormone. Okay, so we're looking at detecting a hormone. It's a pregnancy testing kit. So, it's a format question. We've got it down here. And usually, well most of the time, you've got something like a four, five mark short, uh, sort of medium to long answer question. You can get almost twice as many marks. So the first mark, and I kind of bullet point these. Um, the first thing, I know it's a pregnancy test kit, and the hormone we're looking for, and the hormone we'll be testing for, is human chorionic gonadotrophin. So you're testing for HCG. Um, so, how can we test for HCG? And what we can say about this is we know it's in the urine. So if it's in the urine, we know it passes into the filtrate. So it must be small enough. So it's small enough to pass. Small enough, and my spelling's all over the place again. Small enough to pass in the urine, to the filtrate. Um, this filtrate is, I'm going in a little bit of detail here. You could just say it's small enough to pass into the urine and the kidneys, but I'm just small enough to pass into the filtrate um, at the Bowman's capsule, All right? So, so far, I've not even got to the testing part yet. I said what we're testing for and why we can test for it. And the way we test for things is by using monoclonal antibodies. Now, this, these are very specific and the specific in this case for HCG, but the specific for whatever we decide or design them to be specific for. So we use monoclonal antibodies and they have to be immobilized because you don't want the weed to wash them away. They're immobilized. Okay, so they're not only immobilized, they've got like a dye attached to them. So these monoclonal antibodies, monoclonal antibodies, let's call them MA, they have dyes attached to them. Um, so what happens is when something attaches, in this case HCG, to these monoclonal antibodies, they form a colour change. So, as I just said that, the HCG, the hormone, attaches or binds to the antibody, the monoclonal antibody, or just the antibody is fine. So the HCG binds the antibody, and this, we could say we could talk about complementary, this triggers, because of the dye, because of this dye here, this triggers a colour change. Triggers a colour change. Colour change. Right. Uh, personally, I will lose one mark because you can tell I'm disgusting handwriting and I'm really bad at spelling. And you've got to spell correctly over here. But that's that question, and we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six points here. Six marks available there, and one to spell correctly. So you've got a total of seven things you could do to get those four marks. Okay, dokie. Okay. Yeah. Let's stop this. There we go. 